didn't kill Buddy. What? You didn't? No. Then who did? I shrug. Could have been anyone. Anna thinks it over, but eventually also shrugs. Oh, it doesn't matter, really. <laughs> I guess it doesn't. Keith. Hmm? Give me the keys, Anna. Are you sure? Yes. Anna looked at me very carefully. In the end, she hands me the keys to Grace's cuffs. I bend over and to the side so I can unlock them. It's very awkward at first, but I soon get the hang of it and Grace is free. She's lying down on the ground. I think she's asleep. I touch one of her wrists where the cuffs had dug into her skin. She breaths in sharply but doesn't wake up. Her lips are cracked. She's very pale. Why did you do that? Why do you think? I asked you first. I place my blanket on the grease head so it, it isn't touching the hard concrete. Is it a part of your plan? I wheel myself around to face Anne. My arms are already tired. I'm weak. Jack? The scalpel is still in my lap. My plan. Huh? My master plan. Yes. I guess this is part of it. Though my arms are heavy, I manage one quick swing. Huh. It's a good swing, it's a good swing though. And it doesn't even have time to bring her hands up to her throat. The drop in blood pressure drives her to the floor. She stares at me for a while. Mouthing words I can't understand. I didn't kill Buddy. What? You didn't? No. Then who did? I shrug. I could have been anyone. Anna thinks it over, but eventually also shrugs. Oh, it doesn't matter, really. <laughs> I guess it doesn't. I plant a knife. Grease neck blossoms red. It's the third time I've seen this strange sword or fountain. I forgot how pretty it was. And I crouch down next to me again. You did well. Your shoes are wet. Now that you've come back to me, nothing else matters. I love you. Anna looks down at her own bleeding throat. She's surprised, but not too surprised. Whoops! My hand slipped. She opens her mouth to speak. Red comes out. Shh. It's all right. Let it happen. Anna reaches out to startle me, strangle me, to caress me, but her hands fall short. She grips the edge of my wheelchair instead when she falls back and takes me with her. Ow! I'm lying on my back. My left leg still in its cast points up to the ceiling. Damn! I had a feeling it would end this way. But that's okay. I made the world a better place. I glance at Grace and Anne. They're still twitching, but their eyes are like glass. 
I'll see you later. My world goes red, then black, then nothing.